Oh, excuse me. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to try again. <laughs> I, I made a video and, and basically now uh, about how to pull uh, UV maps from Blender. Uh, so, say you're wanting to paint an aircraft. Uh, I'm using 292. Oops, I deleted that before I really wanted to show you. Uh, and as far as I know, the uh, plugin that we're going to use and that we need to import here is uh, only works in 429, uh, 292 and 293. So you're going to want to install, even if you have an extra, and here's the uh, importer. It's the fly-by-wire importer. Uh, linked below. I'll, I'll link it and it'll be in the description as well as several others. And for this example, you don't necessarily have to have any of this filled in. Uh, you'll want to install it and activate it. Make sure that's all done. Uh, then we're going to import. Uh, in this case, I'm going to import the uh, 300. This is uh, an I mean, th th this is just uh, my official one store folder, and then I just shortcutted it for the sake of this video. And then we're going to go into the uh, the interior and the exterior LODs. OO or O1 or what you want to do. We'll try OO first. Uh, Sometimes, if that doesn't import, then uh, you can try O2. See, it did. Now sometimes O O O might be uh, now I'm gonna hide or hit the H key. Uh, if you're a painter, I'm sure you know how to clean up. This is the frost, so uh, this is the livery. I'm just gonna get rid of the stuff that you're not gonna want to paint, like the livery, the frost, and the decals. Uh, well, I'll get rid of the reg plates there, I think. Yeah, that's a livery part there. We have some more. Now, I'll leave these. Just It doesn't really matter that they're there, but you don't need them, uh, like those and those. All right, when you get it to where you're close, you know, let's uh, remove at least one wheel, uh, the extras on that wheel. And, yeah, we have the left. And if you want, you can hide these empties as well. But anyway, at this point, uh, I'll go to the UV editor. And that's because it gives me this with our export. And that's critical. But first, we've got to figure out how to, how to select things. So I'm in edit. OK. Go to object mode. Hit A. And then tab to go back to edit. Well, get out of uh, selection so we have nothing selected. Actually. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's where I was at. All right. So once you have it all uh, in here, whether you're here or here, this is where you want to work. Now you can sit here and select the parts and like Control L and you know Shift Control L one at a time. But we'd rather do it by material. So select, and there is your uh, fuselage UV. Now, now you can change these. This is where it imports. If you don't set up that extra part of the plug-in settings, you won't have these. You'll just have the, uh, I mean, you won't have any, any UVs. But you can see that this is actually the UV for the fuselage. But that doesn't matter. Because now that we've got one selected, so you can deselect and let's see, select the wings. And there you go. You have the wings. And well, then all you gotta do is export. And we'll export this to the, this was the wing. So yeah, you know, we'll just go ahead and export. And then we'll deselect and we'll select the fuselage, select it. Now we have it. Like that. 
and we'll export that and again we'll just go and see it just it gave me the same thing didn't it yeah. all right so let's uh, let's rename this one <laughs> and this is fuselage or airframe i guess you can name it now and that's pretty much it <laughs> uh, i mean that's about all there is to it if you you know if you select the windshield you'll get the windshield parts uh, you can select one dot there and oh it gives me wheel still perfect and that it gives me the wheel still parts so that's how you do it if you want to uh, let's see frost i don't want frost see i'd have to clean all the extra stuff up there to get to the prop but yeah that, that's about it you can uh yeah it's the same one i'm not sure what those are but anyway so is what that gives you here's the fuselage i renamed and here's the wings that I didn't. So we'll go ahead and name it wings. And now we have this and this. And that's your UV. These are actually, if you open it up with uh, Paint.net, GIMP, or uh, Photoshop, you'll see that it's just a clear background. And this is basically showing you how the, uh, how the texture wraps around that uh, that uh, frame there, the 3D model. And uh, what's really cool is, uh, like wings, is this this gets, uh, I don't know, let's like that, is this gets all the parts that go with it. Like here, see, it doesn't get the uh, livery part, which we don't really want, but it gets even the tab, you know, the trim tab, everything. And, and that gives you the full page. And that's about it. And I'm not going to save any of those. Obviously, this is a default haircut. And we don't want to save it. And then you have, and of course, you can do it with interior parts, like the seats, whatever you want. And uh, so anyway, I, I, I figured I'd better remake this. Uh, and, I say, and then from there, you can... Uh, use these you can combine them if you want you know a pdn or a photoshop file uh, with layers but uh, i just wanted to redo it since i messed up there and, and recorded the whole thing without a voice so have a good day and i hope that helps